What's up today, my people? Thank you for checking out another video. I really appreciate it. What I want to talk to you about is understand this, please. Don't be scared to say no. Don't be scared to say no. A lot of opportunities will come your way. A lot of invitations will come your way. But guess what? Sometimes you got to learn to say no. When you listen, when you learn to get good at saying no, you make room for the yeses. See, a lot of yeses are going to miss you because you involved in all the no's. You know what I'm saying? Let me just give you a random example, all right? Let's just say you a, you a woman, you know, let's say you 20, 23, all right? Well, you, you can use it. Well, however old you are, you can use that age. If you're 15, 18, 20, 62, you know, 75, 81, however old you are, you can put that in the blank. Let's say, you know, let's just use an example. Let's say you're single and you're walking through the mall, you know, and you, and you, you know, you're going to buy you a purse, right? And you know, you're walking. And you encounter, you know, this gentleman and, you know, and, and, and you know him from about three years back, five years back. And this man and you know, you don't like this man. This man just, you know, he just not your type. Right. But you are looking for somebody. And this man, you know, hey, how you been doing or whatever? You know, he give you the little church hug. You know, that church hug, how you link. He give you that little church hug and y'all get to talking. And this man say, well, hey, I would like to take you out to eat. What you like? You want to eat some steak or something? You know, what, what you like? And you, now in your mind, you quickly filter. You quickly think, I don't really like him like that. But, you know, I do want some steak. He is going to pay for it. You know what I mean? He, I ain't got nothing to do Friday with it. Learn to get good at saying no. And let me tell you why. Because you get yourself in a situation that you don't want. Meaning that you know you don't like this man. You know you don't want to go any further, this man. So be, on, be honest with me for a second. What's the point of you letting this man pick you up and you sitting down Friday looking all in that man's face like this over dinner? You know what I mean? For two hours. Let's say y'all sit there for two. What's the point of looking all in this man's face? Where, where is this getting you? Are you focused on what you really want? Are you focused on your goals? Are you... Uh, are, are, are you which way are you going? All right. What's the point of looking in this man? What y'all going to talk about if you're not pursuing him? Now, you probably led this man on. Now, you got this man thinking, well, dang, you know, we had a good conversation, you know, whatever. Well, this and that. Now, he going to call you. And now, and now you stuck. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't really like him, but you just bored. You want free food. You know what I mean? You want free food. You want entertainment. And and I, I'm being honest. I'm being honest. I know this video, this video is going to help somebody. That's why I'm saying this. All right. And then in turn, that turns out to you being close with somebody that you really don't want to be with because you were bored. So this video is mainly for the women. You know what I mean? I, it's just on my heart for me to you know share that with you all. For the men too, you know, just put yourself in the place of that woman that I'm speaking about. And uh well not a man dating a man. You know what I mean? A man and a woman and a woman and you know, you get what I'm saying. But anyway, let's get back to the video. Um Yeah. So know what you're worth. If you see somebody and and and, and you think red flags, red that's red flags going on. Oh, I don't like that person. Don't entertain this person. Because not only do you waste your time. You waste their time and you're wasting God's time. See what I'm saying? Don't be scared to stay your butt in the house. You ain't got to go out every Friday. Just, just because you get an invitation. Know what you're worth. Man, let me be honest with you. Let me roll my sleeve. My sleeve keep on falling down, man. Let me roll my sleeve up in here, man. Let's get back to the video, though. We're not here to talk about sleeves. All right? But anyway... Sometimes, guess what? You got to learn to lock yourself in the house. All right. If it's Friday, 7 o'clock p.m., you know, the world, everybody want to run out and do stuff. With, guess what? Here's what you need to do. You need to go inside, lock your door, put that dead boat on and sit on your couch until you figure out who you really are. Figure out what you want out of life. Figure out, you know, if you're looking for a certain mate, you know what I mean? If, if that's if it's that season of your life, figure out what you want. So you will know and you won't be uh, caught off guard and say yes to the wrong thing. Because, listen, the devil's going to come at you in all kind of ways. You, you better believe that. 
You know what I'm saying? The devil will come, man. The, the, I'm telling you, the devil know just what you like. The devil will try to, you know what I'm saying, send a, send a counterfeit in. All right? I'm talking to you watching this video. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm talking to you. The devil has sent some counterfeits now. So get, But guess what you got to do? You got to be prepared because, you see, if you know the enemy's devices, if you really understand that the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy, if you know how he's coming, you know what to prepare for. You know, basically, let me let me get this plate out. Let me just use a plate, for example. Man, I'm knocking all my stuff over. All right, here we go. We got a plate right here, right? And this is the shield. You know, this is the law of shield. If you know how the devil is coming, you give yourself... You know what I mean? You give you give yourself room enough to have that shield up. You see the devil coming, bam, he running to your shield. But if you ain't got no shield, guess what? Devil gonna hit you in your mouth every single time. How do you get that shield? You get you get that shield by locking your door and sitting on your couch or sitting in your bedroom and figuring out who you are. Who am I? Get a sheet of paper out. My name is JJ. No, not JJ. Let's use a woman name. My name is uh Elizabeth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My name is Elizabeth. This is what I want. My goal is to be the person that helps people. I want to be, uh, I don't know. I want to be, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I can't think of a job title. I want to be a nurse, okay? I want to be a nurse. You write your list of things. And guess what? You put that on your wall right here. And you look at that every day. And you don't, you don't, don't settle until you get that. All right? Don't settle until you stick it right here on your wall. Look at it every day. That paper ain't going to lie to you. What you write on it, it's going to stay there. Unless you get a eraser and try to mess with it, that paper is going to stay there. Know what you're worth. Know who you are. Know whose you are. Know that your identity is with divinity. Know God created you for a special purpose. He gave you your time, your talents, your gifts. He gave you everything. He gave you the desires. All right? So what you want to do is you want to get them out and put them on paper. And put them on your wall so that when you forget about your desires, when you're when you, when you're you're vulnerable, when 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 you're lonely, when you're having a bad day, guess what? You can turn back. Oh yeah, that's who I am. That's what I need. I don't need to settle for this. That's what I want. I know I'm getting off topic in this video, but look, this video is helping somebody. I can feel it. You know what I mean? Understand this. Know who you are. Know what you deserve. Get good at saying no. Get good at saying no. Learn to tell people no. Don't leave people alone. All right? You ain't doing nobody a favor when you lead a woman on or you leading this man on. Stay true to who you are. You're talking to somebody and they ask you for your phone number. You got to learn to cut that short. All right? You don't need 10 people texting you man, if, if, if you don't see yourself going to work with them. You need a phone. <laughs> you need your phone. To be clear, that way nobody's bothering you, all right? Nobody's bothering you. If you got five dudes or five girls texting you, man, you can't concentrate. And, and, and you're sure not grounding yourself because you got feelings. I like him a little bit. I like him a little bit. Well, he, he got waves in his head. I like him. He graduated from architect school. You know what I'm saying? He played drums. I like him a little. Oh, he bought me a drink in the club. You know what I mean? He... He my friend on Facebook. He liked all my videos on Instagram. He, you got all this stuff coming. How can you be grounded? Go change your phone number. Start over, man. Start, your, start a new life. Reinvent yourself. Learn to get grounded so that whenever God does send the right person in your life, you're mature and, and, and you're, you're, you're able to be grounded and know who you are and be able to Give yourself away in the conversation and be able to entertain the conversation. You'll be able to look at somebody and make proper eye contact and, and, and really focus on developing with them. But if you got, you know, JJ texting you over here and stuff, you all over the place. Take my advice. Lock yourself in your house. Spend some time with yourself. <laughs> I'm being so serious. Ask yourself a question. What makes you happy? And then the first thing you're going to tell yourself is, hmm, you never asked me that question. Wow, what makes me happy? I never asked myself, I like this, I like... And you really start discovering who you are. You got to know who you are before you meet that person. Otherwise, 
How much time I got? Nine minutes. Otherwise, you're going to meet somebody and they're going to say, well, I like to go fishing. Like, oh, I like to go fishing too. Yeah. You just, you, you just going to, you're going to play according to them because you don't want to go against them. But when you're grounded, you'll bring yourself and they'll bring their true self and it'll take off. You understand what I'm saying? So don't settle. Know who you are. Master this season of discovering yourself and being right with the Lord. Pursue the Lord. You got to chase God every day. You got to be like David. You got to be a man after God's own heart. All right. And God will give you that protection to give you them, them, them vibes. You know what I'm saying? He, he'll give you uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, dang. Let me think of that. I can't think of that word. I don't even know, man. I forgot the name of the word. But anyway, you'll be able to tell your spirit or just say, nah, she a little too fast. Nah, she cool, but she a little too fast. Not, not me. Not me. I'll pass. You got to learn to get good at saying no. When you get good at saying no, you make room for the yes. All right. I love you. I don't want to make this video too long. Hope this helped a few of you out. If it did, comment below. Let me know what's up. I'll be happy to make more videos on this topic. Don't forget, look, get your Fishing for Souls hoodie, Fishing for Souls shirt. Whatever you need, I'm going to have a link down in the description, uh, the description box. Be sure to subscribe. Share this video if it helped you out. I love you. I appreciate you all. Drop me a comment of a video topic. I'll be more than happy to help you out and try to record it for you the next day. I'll talk to you all later. Remember what I said. Don't settle. Know who you are. Know who you are. All right? I love you.